Hello there and welcome to this wonderful course, Robo Structure Analysis, and this is a course for the analysis and design of steel structures. In this course, I just want to take you step by step so that you master the software from start to finish. We are going to look at how you can be efficient in the design of steel structures within Autodesk Robo Structure Analysis. Now, as I take you step by step in this lesson, I'll make sure that you know, I explain even the principles in structural design so that you can relate, you know, on how you do it in the manual design and also in how you are supposed to do it within robot structure analysis. Now, I have to assure that once you finish this course, you are going to improve your efficiency in the design of steel structures or within Autodesk robot structure analysis. You are going to master the design of steel structures and you should be able to do it in no time as you are designing your steel structures. This course is hosted on a very, very secure website. As you can see from there, once you purchase the course, you are going to have seven day, you know, warrant period. And under the advantages and details, you can go ahead and see the advantages and also why you need to, you know, to take this course. Okay, then under the contents, make sure that you check there and expand the drop down arrow so that you see, you know, the details and also the content of this course. You see that this course is very, very detailed and I've ensured that I don't miss a step so that once you complete it, you are going to master the design of steel structures or within robot structural analysis. Let me now go ahead and give you some highlights of what you are going to learn in this course. The first thing that you start with is setting, you know, the units and also the, the codes. And thereafter, you start, you know, the creation of the grids and the levels. After the creation of your grids and the levels, I'll take you step by step on how you can model the columns, the beams, the rafters, the palings, and also the side rails. I'll show you on how you can access the databases and that will be dependent on the code or region where you are. Then I'll also show you on how you can, you know, create the member releases, you know, the supports and everything that you need for the model so that as you start analyzing, you, you are not expected to encounter any issues. The completion of the modeling of the steel structure will be followed by the placement of the loads on your structure. And that also includes the load combinations. Now the combinations will be done according to the code and you can, you know how you can do a manual combination on automated one. Okay. In addition to that, I'll show you on how powerful robot structure analysis is in terms of, you know, specifying the wind loads. Okay. So all the combinations, you know, in terms of the wind, the live loads, the dead loads will all be considered in this course and you know how to do it by yourself. The completion of the loads and the combinations will be followed by structural analysis and after analysis i'll also show you on how you can you know check the moments the shear you know the reactions and all the deflection so that you see how your structure is behaving and that will be after doing that you see how you now start you know uh, designing all the members for your structure now i just want to indicate to you that before you start you know the design of your members within the model there, it's very important that you configure, you know, the parameters. For example, local buckling in the upper and the lower flanges. In this course, I'll explain step by step on how you can configure all the members before you start the actual design of the steel members. Robot structure analysis has a very, very powerful steel design module. Okay. After having used it, I've used for, for a number of years, I've discovered that it gives very, very economic and, you know, safe designs. Okay. So it's not only the, 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 the design of steel members, which are so good, but also reinforced concrete elements. And in this course, we'll see how you can design, you know, your part foundations as part of the, you know, the, the portal structure that we'll be considering in this course. The last chapter that you are going to look at in this course is the design of steel connections in robot structure analysis. We are going to look at a number of connections and this includes the base plate connections, the beam to beam connections, the apex hunch, and so many others as we are going to see in this course. And after having, you know, designed all the members 
you know the connections the part foundations then i'll show you on how you and you can export you know the whole model to revit structure for detailing okay so if you use revit structure for detailing i'll show you on how you can export it for detailing okay again if you're a user of autocad you can still use the software actually of your choice so that you can start detailing so i encourage you to join me in this course you are really going to learn a lot and you don't need to look you know anywhere else once you complete this code you'll be good to go in the design of steel structures so see you there